My name is Drew Gravitt, and today we'll be briefly covering EcoStructure Microgrid Advisor, or EMA, which is Schneider Electric's cloud-based software platform, which empowers its users to optimize their distributed energy resources by tracking, forecasting, and visualizing when to consume, produce, store, or sell energy. So we begin by either remotely or at our site logging into the portal via a laptop, tablet, or smartphone using the cybersecure username and password. From that point, depending on how many sites you have, you'll be logged directly into your site or see a map of sites like we see here. Today we'll be exploring our Boston One campus. When you log in, you'll notice a overview of all of your different distributed energy resources. Starting at the top, we have our utility feed. Boston One, we have our PV, solar, and carport arrays, our natural gas generator, our electric vehicle charging stations, other loads such as lighting and pumps, fans, kitchen, and HVAC doing our cooling and heating. The blue indicates the utility feeds, green is on-site generation, yellow is loads, as we can see here. If we wanted to dive into each one of these, we could to look at a more granular view of them. In this case, our different carports and what they're generating. From here, we can see the irradiance data that we're getting from our software. Everything we're seeing to the left of the screen is past. The blue line indicates current performance, and the right side indicates future forecasted performance being performed by EMA's machine learning algorithms. We've got our irradiance, our predicted power, and if we were performing any controls on the carports, we would see that being indicated here. We can look at today, yesterday, this week, and we can see a forecast up to 48 hours. We go back to the overview page. We can see some activity highlights. At the Boston One site, we have a demand charge limit of one megawatt. Today, we're using about 64% of our total allowable power. We've had 18 instances of off-grid, islanded mode. Our weather service gives us utility grade information and helps us predict any severe storms. EMA can potentially take the site out of an optimization mode, so remove it from doing any controls and put it into a storm mode, which would prepare the site for islanding or potentially even pre-islanding the site before a utility grid outage. Other things that we can look at in the real-time screen here is the power ratio, what we're consuming in real-time from the grid versus generating ourselves through the PV or if we had the generator running, same with where our, our loads are using the most amount of energy. We come over here, we can see we're also tracking CO2 emissions. And if I click on the Show Curves button for our real-time overview, we can see what's happening on the entire site today. We can see our outdoor air temperature, both forecasted and actual, same with our CO2 emissions. And then if we come down here, we can see our site consumption. The green line here indicates our demand charge limit, as we discussed before, a megawatt from the grid. The blue line is power from the grid versus power forecasted. And then as you come over, you can actually see we use more than our demand charge limit, but looking down here, we have local production from our solar array that offset what we were accepting from the utility feed. So we were actually able to stay well under our demand charge limit because of our PV array. As you can see, we're having a, a much better day than we were expecting, so a lot of sun in Boston for us today. Good to know, though, that there is the delta here being tracked by the machine. As time goes on, we will see this actually decrease because the site will learn what the actual versus forecast it is and, and self-correct itself over time. If we wanted to click on the consumption tab up here, we could get a good overview of what's happening on the site over a period of time, how much energy we're using. Uh, today, we're looking at, you know, the whole year, but we can imagine looking at you know, just today, we could look at a custom amount or a time interval period. 
We also have the reporting function, which allows us to pull data from the site for either producers, consumers, or both, both being potentially a battery, the types of data that we're looking for, and the start and end date. So quick and easy reporting in either Graph or Excel. And then we have activities being any sort of use cases that we're doing ongoing or upcoming, or any deactivations that would be done by a customer moving resources from offering them to be available to do any control on the site, and then notifications. This turnkey software solution is available uh, to automatically optimize when end users should consume, produce, or store energy for the highest levels of performance, reliability, and cost savings.